What's going on my YouTube peeps? Fernando with Pro Windows, aka The Nandalorian. Yes, sir. So here you welcome to another how-to video. And this time I want to physically show you guys how to set up your hoses for your quick connects. If you decide that you want to build your own hoses, your own lengths. Um, so with the system that we just raffled off, and uh, congratulations once again to Mr. Stephen Pete in Louisiana. We, he has uh, requested for me to build him the hoses and get everything shipped out in the same crate. That way he has everything he needs and ready to rock and roll. All he has to do is just put that system together on his vehicle and he'll be on his way. So for demonstration purposes, I've only left one that I need to finish putting Teflon and I got to completely, completely tighten it down. So the main components we're going to be using here are going to be four of these Mel 3H Quick Connects. This is the Mel version, threaded. And then we're going to be using a total of six of these. I'm sorry, three, six, seven of these. Seven of these 3 8 threads to 3 8 barb seven of these and you're going to want to put some Teflon tape on it here let me make sure this one's completely done with that way I don't start a new roll I just keep a new roll right next to me because I usually run out when I'm doing the plumbing when I'm doing the plumbing on the systems I think I go about two rolls per system so the convenience of this is the fact that you guys do not have to sit there go purchase some extra tools to crimp everything down you don't have to go online shopping and try to find your the stainless steel I'm using stainless steel hardware the only piece that does not come in stainless steel the reason behind that I'll, I'll explain in a bit is going to be the male garden hose fitting. The reason because of that is uh, most of the time these will wear out if you're dragging it across the lawn, the concrete, they will wear out so this can be replaced easily. Everything else, your quick connects will get replaced every so often on this system. My quick connects have been on my vehicle for over three years now. I have not had to replace my quick connects because they're not under high pressure. Um, so we're gonna be, like I said, let's recap. We're going to be using a total of four of these Mel Quick Connects, three eighths, seven of these three eighths threads to so three eighths barbs, and we're going to be using a total of looks like three, three of the female Quick Connects. Um, I already have it. Uh, Tighten it down so I can't really pull this off. But 3 8 female quick connect threads on the bottom and uh, the back, and then we got the male 3 8 threads to 3 8 barb. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and finish off doing the last piece to the puzzle, and then we're going to start building some hoses here. So he requested a total of 300 feet, so you kind of want to guide, guide it in to make sure you don't cross thread this. Grab yourself some uh, crescent wrench. Good old crescent wrench. Sit it down on the table. It'll be better. And just start working that other end into it. It's going to move on you on a bit. If you have a bench vise, it'll probably be faster. But I am working on my workbench here and I don't have a bench vise on this. I should put one on. Maybe a little bit down the road. For now, make sure it's nice and tight. Once it's nice and tight, nice and tight. All right, we're done with my crescent wrenches, so I can go ahead and store my crescent wrenches away. Uh, I am going to need my, this is a tool that you are gonna need. These are crimpers, ear, ear clamp crimpers. Like I said, if you don't want to build your own hoses, um, these things can range about 15 bucks, 10, 15 dollars, I can't remember. 
but I mean it's a nice tool to have if you go through hoses a lot. And then we're going to be using a total of six ear clamps. Six ear clamps. All right. So when you start your hoses, I got a I got a 100 foot, 300 psi blue hose here, three eighths, three eighths ID. And he has two 100 foots and he has two 50 footers that he wants, all right? So it is completely up to you guys. One of these hoses, either a 50 foot or a 100 foot, is going to be your leading hose. Meaning the very first end is gonna be your garden hose male adapter. This is where your connection Whatever type of valve you use to hook up your water fed pole line to, this is what it's gonna thread onto. So Mr. Whoops. Mr. Stephen Pete chose to go with a 100 foot as his leading hose. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and grab the first 100 footer and I didn't want this to untangle on me so I wanna go ahead and zip tie it already. So first thing is you wanna insert your ear your ear clamp then we're going to set the hose in place we're going to bring that ear clamp you do not want to tighten it as close as uh, close to the uh to the wall of the of the thread here what you want to do is you want to give it at least about a little bit less than a quarter inch and you're going to want to clamp crimp crimp it there so it grabs the actual barb ow all right so one side is done. Now we go to the opposite side and we finish crimping it. Once that is crimp, there we go. So this side is complete. All right. And then I'll show you the end, what you're going to do with this. So now, since this is going to be the leading hose, we are going to want to connect a male end to your leading hose. And let me find the connect the, the, the end of this hose, which is right here. All right. So here, same thing, repeat the process, put your ear clamp on, and let's go ahead and install the hose or the, the, the barb here. Usually I will heat this up because it is it does get a little tight. But if you have something where you can actually push it against, you should be able to get it on there nice and seated. Now remember, there is a little gap where it's just kind of flat. You want to get that pex, that ear clamp somewhere on these barbs so it, it grips down real good. So with that being said, we're going to bring this over right over here. Actually, let me seat this hose down just a bit more. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna grab this ear clamp, sit it down right there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice and crimped. Let's go ahead and crimp this one down. And it helps if you use the bench, your workbench, to grip down on this. And there's the finished product. All right, so this is gonna be your leading hose. If you, if you purchase this stuff from me, I'm going to include everything that you need. So your hose is going to come with, if you buy the single user, I'm always going to, I'm going to include, when you purchase your hoses, I'm going to include your Y valve. The reason I'm going with these valves versus another uh, little more expensive upgraded valve is these are more affordable if you break it. You damage it you can go to Home Depot pick up another one for about 15 bucks and uh, that's it so we're gonna go with that I'm gonna include two of these garden hose 516 hoses this is where you're gonna hook up your water fed pole line to and I'm including two because off of a single user you're able to run two water fed poles on one line so even though it's a single user you can still push 250 foot poles at five stories high and have enough flow for them. So all you got to do, this is going to be 
the end that's going to be kind of close to you depending how much uh, 5 16 hose you're using you can use up to 100 feet if you want um, you can leave this nearby and you can go back open up your water or close it whenever you're not in use and that's it so this is going to be included on there we're going to go ahead and thread this on here and there you have it all right that's this is your leading hose if you use a reel, this is the very first hose that's going to come off your reel. I'm going to show you the next steps on the on the on the hoses behind this. So he wants it on. He wants his first hose to be 100 foot, his second hose to be 50 feet, his third hose to be 100 feet, and his fourth hose to be 50 feet. So now we're going to go jump to the 50 footer. Let's go ahead and put this over here on the side. So if you guys remember correctly. I started with the male garden hose, which is the leading end. And then the, the, the end of that hose has a male adapter. So on this one, this is the one that follows. This one's going to have a female adapter so it can connect with that first leading hose. Don't forget to put your ear clamp on because once you get these bars on there, they're hard to get out. So we can put this on here. All right, start working it in there as much as you can. All right, and then whatever else starts getting, when it starts getting super tight, use it against your workbench. And just a little bit more. And it's seated. All right. So that's ready. Let's go ahead and clamp this one down right here. Okay. And this one over here. And there's the female. So this one's going to connect with that one if he now he has 150 feet to use. He didn't want to go straight 300 feet, 100, 100, 100, or even a single 100, 300 foot roll. Because if you do use only one line and it's 300 feet, if you pull up to a job that you only need 100 feet, you're going to have to pull that whole 300 feet out to hook it up to your system. Because this system is designed to be used with quick connect hoses. This is the way I build them. I prefer that way because for me it's more efficient to be able to uncoil the hose that I need whether it's 100 feet or 50 feet or if I need 150 feet I know my hoses are designed 100 foot 50 foot 100 foot 50 foot so I know I can easily pull 150 foot feet 150 feet off uh, unclamp it clamp it to the side of my truck where my quick connect fittings are located and get to work turn the pump on get to work all right so now this is the second hose female the end of this hose is going to go with a male so make sure you grab your ear clamp put your ear clamp on put the male end in we always want to end your hoses with a male connection and i'll tell you why well i'm sure you guys can i'm sure you guys know why already because your system the di outlet the di water coming out has a female quick connect adapter, which is the one you're gonna position somewhere in your vehicle where you're gonna do your quick connection. All right, so that's on. Let's go ahead and clamp this down. Let's go ahead and do the opposite side. All right, so this hose is done. We got a female and we got a male right here. All right, so now, now we're gonna move on to his next 100 foot, which is right here. This is his next 100 foot. And since we, like I said, we finished off with the male, the next one is gonna be a female. Let's grab an ear clamp. Grab an ear clamp. Let's go ahead and put this female in here. Sometimes it'll go in nice and smooth. Other times you're going to have to use something to push it against. All right, so that one's ready. We can go ahead and clamp this clamp down here. There we go. And there we go. Now the other end, male. 
Make sure you grab an ear clamp. There we go. That's ready. Second hose is ready, female, male. This is the one that's always going to, if you pull 100 feet out of your reel that you only want to use, your end, the end of your hose is always going to be a male, which is going to connect to your system. So make sure you guys capture that. So we're done with this 50, uh, 100 footer. Now we're going to move to his final 50 feet, which is right here. And I think I'm missing an ear clamp. I thought I pulled, oh no, here it goes. All right. So now, remember the end of the hose is a male. So we're gonna put the ear clamp on, put this female in. Go ahead and squeeze it in there. All right, we can go ahead and uh, clamp the ear clamp down. There we go. That's ready. Final piece. When you find a passion for things you, you like doing, you build things efficiently. And I've, I think I've uh, created myself a very good way of building stuff. Things you learn throughout the years. All right, that one's in. You learn to create systems that work efficiently for you, where you're not wasting so much time setting up, putting things together, running lines and all that. With this system here. All right. This is his final hose. Like I said, if he decides to pull 50 feet out of his system, um, I already have everything I already have everything taped up because this is, I was just waiting on the hoses to ship this out. Um, but there's a female quick connect that comes out of the system here. This, you can position it wherever you want. Uh, you can mount it somewhere. And whatever hose you decide to do, you're going to hook it up to your system here. Boom. And uh, the end of your hose. But remember, you could, you, if you only decide to use 100 feet, your leading hose is the one you're going to use. You cannot use a 50 foot as your leading hose because you decided that your leading hose was going to be 100 feet. So always keep that in mind. Uh, I personally prefer to go 50 feet, 100 feet, and then followed by nothing but hundreds. Um, but it's a saw preference. Uh, so his 100 footer is going to hook up here. And then he's going to have that Y with the connections for his water fit poles. And that's it. That, that's as simple as it gets. Um, like I said... These systems are custom made. They're available for you guys to build on your own. Uh, I have nothing to do with that. You guys can purchase it directly through Jay Racingstein. They'll be more than happy to ship a system out to you guys. It'll come in a box. Uh, some, uh, most of the, the mounting plates will have most of the wires already hooked up together. Uh, you just gotta hook up the pumps and your switches and then any additional accessories, modifications you wanna do, that's completely up to you guys. If you guys purchase the kit through me, you pay the same price that you're paying over at J Racingstein, but I'm modifying the system to, you know, adding additional components, <clears throat> making them a little bit more efficient to the way I like them to work. Um, and like I said, I'm using, uh, I, I prefer to use this hose, just a preference. Um, we're going to start modifying the systems now, changing the color ho hoses around. Uh, prices will increase just a bit because, you know, when you change out colors on hoses, they do increase in price, especially like the bright green ones or the red ones, um, but yeah, these systems, uh, like I said, the, your average single user um, standard blue hose is gonna run you about 45 to almost almost 5K with the shipping included, um, and that's it, but uh, Thanksgiving is just not too, not too far away. Um, I'll probably do another uh, a free shipping you know, uh, type deal where if you wanna purchase a system, 
uh, we'll go ahead and ship it out to your door at no extra cost to you just to get the system out to you. But if you guys are enjoying the content, please let me know down below. Uh, leave a comment for me, please. Leave a thumbs up on the videos. It's going to start helping out my channel. I wasn't active on my channel for quite a while, but now that I find a little passion for a couple more things, then, you know, now I have content where that I can get creative and share with you guys on a daily. If you guys want to uh, see more videos on other content, you know, window cleaning, pressure washing, self-washing related that I can probably feed some knowledge on or some education, I'll be more than happy to do that. Just leave a comment on the videos and let me know what else you want to see. Uh, if it's something regarding the system. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, if it's something regarding the system, uh, do let me know. It's just a matter of uh, what do you guys want to see, what do you guys want to know, and we'll go from there. But anyways, Nandalorian, thanks you guys for watching. You guys have a good day. Peace out.